Welcome to the shortwave radio channel and uh, here is a little something that we're gonna try to explain. I've got a few people that ask me this question and it is actually a good question. Um, all questions are good. This one is interesting because once again, you know, we say, we talk about these things, we have the knowledge, but it's easy to forget that some people need a little more explaining because they're not really sure what you're talking about. So what's the difference between DSP and SDR? A lot of people are wondering because they just don't understand the exact difference. And for some DSP and SDR, because it seems the same, um, it's not. So one of the questions that came through, I think it was yesterday, was because the ATS-25 is actually um, advertised as the ATS-25 DSP. Honestly, um, the ATS-25 sh should be advertised as the ATS-25 SDR. Why? Because here's the difference. The Texan PL-330 is um, DSP. It says on the box when you buy it, uh, when you go and purchase it online, they talk about the T Texan PL-330 DSP receiver. A DSP receiver is not necessarily an SDR. A DSP receiver could also be an SDR at the same time. The difference between both, the Texan PL330 here has a digital signal processing chip in it. That's why they call it DSP. It is simply that the signals are digitally processed for your listening. It could be in the audio, it could be in the radio frequency stages, but most of what is done in the radio to process the signal is digitally done. But it's not an SDR because it's good old buttons that you press to play around with your radio. So it's not a software that drives it, it's simply everything inside it, the radio reception, the, the processing of what you are listening to is done digitally, but the radio is still a good old radio with knobs and buttons, and it doesn't have a fancy display, it just displays a standard frequency, which uh, in, in a very, very standard manner with you know battery indication and stuff like that. This is DSP. It's just that it's a regular radio, but inside it, it's all digitally done when the processing of the signal happens for you to listen to it. A radio like the ATS-25 is technically an SDR. And why? Because even though it has one button here, most of what the functionalities that you see here and what shows on the screen is actually software. There's a little computer in this radio that actually runs software that controls the radio. But it is DSP at the same time because everything that's done in it is digitally, digitally processed. So it is digital like the PL330, but the controls are software driven. It's a program that's running on a small computer inside it that controls all of these buttons and the different functionalities and switches what you want to do. So that's the difference between an SDR and a DSP only radio. An SDR is pretty much always a DSP radio because it always digitally processes everything. So an SDR by default is a DSP receiver also at the same time. But a DSP receiver, like the Texan PL330, it's not an SDR because it's not a computer that controls with a, a touch screen or any type of screen that you can click on. It's a simple radio with buttons and a standard display. Uh, there's no real software running on it to do what it does. Not totally true because that DSP chip in it kind of have some firmware, which is kind of a type of software. But overall, anything that has 
a very simple display of frequency on the screen or even sometimes you can have a DSP radio that's not even digital display here it could be an analog style display but still all the processing of the signals in it are done digitally so that's the difference and it's the difference between that and say an old radio that you could have from uh, you know the uh, the 80s um, these radios are analog all the way there's no digital processing there's it's really just done with you know um, all sorts of electronic parts to filter and to uh, have the radio functioning but uh, that's the difference hope that the explanation actually goes well um, the difference between DSP and SDR if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up and thank you for watching our videos